about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. to be landing those kicks, getting damage off, but he can never do that because the box is constantly in his face and not throwing singular shots. He's throwing multiples to keep him moving backwards. Nice kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming by. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. All right, early round one action here, and somewhat surprising to see the boxer not check these leg kicks, right? He felt like it would be a factor in the fight, and the kickboxer is absolutely having his way over. It's always one thing to say what you're going to do, but to implement those things. 
to be able to do it against that guy is very difficult. And to this point, he has not been able to pick up on the way kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. Punch to the body is blocked. Lands to the body. Beautiful shot to the leg. Ooh, big shot lands. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Gokar. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, big head kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Big punch land. Ooh. And just misses with that big right hand. there and able to finish nice nicely done try to establish that jab missed with that attempt Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Goku. Takedown defense is there. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Choice strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Keep the pressure on. Everything's oh, huge overhand there. Take him down. Straight punch. Useful. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Final seconds here. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Body kick right there, landed perfect. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Oh, how good is that jab by the Korean Super Bowl? Big shots being landed on both sides here. 
Oh, nice. Circling away towards the left. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, tag. Great combination to the head. Gokhan gets tattooed by that straight punch. Strike landing pretty cleanly there. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Man, how good is his right hook count? Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Gokhan. Head kick blocked. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. His misses are entertaining. Oh, huge block there. Strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Troy's eyes starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything. He should have got the fight finished. That. And that's, that's in the engagement there. Gokhan's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking them, rolling, slipping. He's doing a great job. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Changing the position. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Gokhan, Ty appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Use of the jab there by Choi. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Nose is bleeding now. Stop, stop, stop. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly Ready because fight. his opponent is not Ready. defending. Third round underway. All right, so next round underway here. And you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp. And it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Inside leg kick landed there by Goku. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Gokan's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice strike. Choi's die really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Unable to land with that punch. Hands high, hands high. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. And again, Brinson repeat targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Choi. to get more severe with every passing moment in the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight... Oh! Strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love his accuracy, his ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. He's so committed to body punching. Under a minute to go. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Check that last one. Hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it roll. Stay Straight to the body there by Gokan. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Ten seconds to go in the round. in the books. All right, so now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you gotta think it's gonna start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you gotta look from the start to make mistakes. Trying to overcompensate
for all the shots that he's taken to the face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone has massive swelling and they struggle. Look for this guy to start to mess up a little bit in there. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing Ready what fight. he needed to do to move his Ready. head, and he's paying Ready. for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, man. I mean, how much can one man take? He certainly doesn't look like he did when he walked out of here just a few moments ago. He's almost unrecognizable. He's been hit so many times in the face. The swelling started early. We spoke about trying to defend it. We spoke about making adjustments. He didn't, and now he finds himself here. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Now some separation. Nice combination there. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on it. Takedown defense holds up. Fighters separate from the clinch. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Choi's really taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? They might even call him the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Back and forth we go. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do to see him cut try to attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you wanna get your hands on that cut. You wanna punch him in it, you wanna elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, Go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching again. Oh! Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, great block there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now some separation. We heard it again. with his strikes here, targeting that eye that is already swollen on the opposition. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night with a four. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. 
Under 20 seconds now to go. for the end of round four. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cut. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Just missed with the left there. Oh, this kid. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two, and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Today. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good, fun fight. Well, this one is coming down to the wire. This has been so action-packed. I'm going to stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've still been sitting the whole time. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking the shot. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Big, big strikes continue to land. Mixed martial arts, folks. This is absolutely crazy. Both fighters dealing with critical damage and cuts. There's blood everywhere. Fans, stand up and give applause to these two men who are landing all out on the line in the octagon tonight. Both dealing with cuts. Both critical. But both unwilling to take a step back for your entertainment. Oh, that kick is good by Gokhan. swollen area. The in swell would come in handy right now. Gokhan's pass attempt denied. In the half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Good work from the top here by Gokhan. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Big ground and pound. Oh, 
Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Shore. is only getting worse. His face is a mess. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, effective strike there by Choi. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.